Hello again, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. You guys send me some uh, very good questions, and I try to answer as many and as often as I can, either through message or, in this case, best to do it through a video. It's really hard to put it into words, what I'm trying to explain to get you guys to see and feel. And it's how to remove ceramic coatings, uh, removing them for one reason or another. Uh, sometimes we remove them here for the purpose of applying paint protection film to get them to stick. Sometimes you remove them to do uh, a repair on a certain panel. Sometimes you remove them just to put a fresh new coating on. So we have our coating uh, on a panel ready to go and let's get into the video. So obviously the, the left side of the panel, the hood here, is coated and the right side is just clean, naked, clear coat. And besides the water behavior, there's an obvious increase in slickness when a panel's coated, as seen here. Okay, so getting to how to remove them. Our coating, which is what is on this panel, will need to wet sand it. Uh, to get it done in a timely manner, you can compound it, but it's going to take many trips across the panel. 3000 grit, 2500 grit, that's the most aggressive I would get, and that's really all that's needed. And you'll be able to uh, shave uh, most of that coating off. Will it be easy to tell if you've gotten all of it? No, and it's not important. You can remove it and recoat them or do whatever work you, you need to do on the panel and then lay down the coating and 100% of it does not have to be removed. And it's impossible to tell if it would be anyway. Um, to give you a peace of mind that it is, with our coating, I do recommend wet sanding first with either 3000 or 2500 grit and then polish out from there. To remove 2500 grit or 3000 grit, only uh, a polish pad and a fine polish is needed. If this was just clear coat with nothing on top of it, you would start to see a white residue immediately and that's when you're starting to shave off the clear coat. That's a lot harder to see when you're removing a coating. So I sand until I start to see that white milky residue or substance uh, rolling down the panel and that's why I like the wet sand because the water collects that instead of letting the uh, sanded material get airborne. Um, but when you see that then you know you are down to the clear. So that's another indication. Now, you can also compound it off, and there I would recommend the 3D AAT501 or the Papa Cut. A uh, microfiber pad, either a cut pad or 50-50 would work, and you can put that onto a 15 millimeter throw, a 21 millimeter throw, or a rotary, and you would be successful. Again, this is for our coating. If you're talking about an entry level coating, a one year or a three year, you should be able to just polish that out if it's a one year or compound it out uh, without having to use any type of, of wet sanding sheets or discs at all. So the less concentrated coating, the easier it will be to remove it.
Having removed enough of them by now for whatever reason, I can also share there's a little bit of a different feel. When you first start to polish a coating, it almost feels like you're polishing glass. It just glides right over the panel easily. The pad isn't grabby. Uh, when you get down to the clear coat, uh, which is a softer form of plastic, well then we're talking about the pad starting to grab a little bit and you will feel that. You might even see that. You might even see, uh, depending on the polisher, the backing plate might actually start to stall a little more when you get down to the clear coat. So that's a great indication as well and something to look out for. By the way, coatings will add microns to the surface of your panels, not mills. Unless you're adding a 12 layer coating system, you're not going to reach the mills. It's just maybe 5 microns, 10 microns or so. Um, there is a lot of misinformation out there and that is definitely one of them. And at this point, the coating is removed. Water behavior is uh, pretty much consistent to the other side. We'll drag the panel outside and I'll wash it and show you with the hose as well. But before we do go back outside, a quick tip. If you are removing a coating to apply a wrap or paint protection film, you want to be very, very thorough. And it happens. Sometimes customers change their mind or they want to add some more protection or they want to change the color of their car. But you need to be more thorough and pay more attention to the edges where the coating is. So you also need to compound the edges, the top, the edge, the edge itself and the bottom of the edge where the wrap or the film would wrap around to so it can adhere properly and you don't have problems down the road. Just a quick tip. And we're back outside. Let me wash the panel for you and we'll be able to see the water behavior is back to normal on clean, naked, clear coat. And that's what it takes to remove a substantial coating from each panel. Another very good question, uh, how to decon uh, a coating, especially after the second or third year. Can I use an iron remover? Can I clay them? Well, I'm going to show you uh, the best way, uh, the best choices for claying. Uh, sometimes we do when we feel it, if and only if it's needed. Uh, and when it comes to iron remover, maybe once a year, no more. So let's proceed with the video. Can you clay a coated car? You can, but look for fine grade. Art to shine, Adams has a fine grade, and that means the, the abrasive is very fine. Plumber's putty is also another option. It's similar in texture, but it does not have the abrasive, and it will pull dirt from a coating. There is a chance that dirt can slightly bond to a coating, not so much as it would to um, clean clear coat. That bond becomes strong and you need a, a fine grade, medium grade, or even a harsh, coarse clay bar. But in this case, if I feel something and I only use clay when I feel it, if I feel it, I'll grab uh, some of the pl plumber's putty and I'll use lubrication like ONR or Showroom Elegance. That's plenty of lubrication or even our Apex Auto Wash that has a ton of lubrication and I'll do it during the wash process. And you can see, it'll pluck stuff off easily from a coating. And when we're done, our maintenance visit is complete and we have a nice, clean, smooth coated car that was pretty much unscathed. I hope that helps. Uh, I hope that all made sense. If not, ask your questions down in the comment section, and we'll catch you in the next video.